Hi there. I believe it's so obvious now that the oil prices are expected to be increasing in the upcoming winter due to both the upcoming winter as well as the global political conflict. And it does also make perfect sense that the oil producers will try to squeeze the reservoirs and fields out of every single drop of oil in order to sell at the higher prices. But how exactly do they squeeze the reservoirs or boost their production? Of course you might think of maybe just open the tap a little bit and increase the production, which is a very good option, but it also has its own limitation. And I'm not talking about economical limitations, I'm talking about operational and technical limitations. Opening the tap is one of many ways to boost the production, but I'm interested only in one particular way or technique to boost the production, which is fracking, or I would rather say well stimulation. Well stimulation is not just a way to boost the production, but in some cases you cannot produce even without fracking your well or doing a well stimulation. My name is Amr Hassan. I am a well stimulation consultant at OptiStim and this is an introduction to our well stimulation course. But before digging in the well stimulation, I thought it would be a good idea, especially for those who doesn't know much about oil and gas science or even just fresh graduates, is to start from the basics fundamentals of oil and gas. This is why I have separated this course into two sections. The first section would be the basic fundamentals of oil and gas, while the second section would be of course the well stimulation where I'm going to cover from basic well stimulation like matrix acidizing up to the complex hydraulic fracturing designs. So in the basic fundamentals section, I would like to start with the geology where we are going to learn about the plate tectonics, the building blocks of formation and ground, which is of course minerals and rocks, structural geology, where we are going to learn about folds, faults, basins and domes, and ending this section with the basic elements in order to create a reservoir under the ground. After understanding the geology and understanding what makes the oil and gas reservoir under the ground, we are going to cover the exploration part. In the exploration part, we will learn how the oil and gas producers explore for potential oil and gas reservoirs through surface geology, geophysical surveying, and finally confirming the prospects through cores and cuttings. In the same part as well, we will talk about the petroleum composition and its properties according to the API standards. And we will end this part with the reservoir driving mechanisms. Now, since we know that there is a potential reservoir under the ground, we need to drill to reach to this reservoir. In the drilling section, we will be talking about the drilling rig types, the rig components, the drilling fluid. And we will also be touching on the directional drilling and why do we need it. During the drilling phase, there are several operations taking place in order to keep the well stable, which is cementing and basic completion. And we will touch on those two as well. But one very important operation that happens while drilling the well and after drilling the well is the formation evaluation. The oil and gas producers do formation evaluation in order to identify many things, lithology, the type of fluid, the volume of fluid inside, and many other things. In the formation evaluation section, we will basically talk about the open hole triple combo log tool, the concepts and theories behind it, as well as how to read its log. With this part, I will be ending the basic fundamentals section. Of course, the next section will be the well stimulation section. So bye for now and see you in the next video.